Richard is showing you a pictures of the production office there. He goes right there to the production office. <laughs> Richard Mototsi, the most famous cameraman in the land. Muslims have two major religious observances every year. It's Ramadan and the Hajj. Each year, Muslims spend a month fasting during the ninth month of the Islamic calendar called the Holy Month of Ramadan. The fasting period ends when the full moon is sighted and is marked with a celebration called, called Eid al-Fatr, the festival of fast breaking. We're now joined by Anissa Musa, a chief social worker at the Islamic Care Line, and Lucy Bushel Matthews from the Islamic Relief Worldwide. Ladies, good morning. Or should we say, Assalamu alaikum. Right. Yes, welcome to our program. First, uh, Anissa, tell us about Eid. How do we celebrate it in South Africa? Um, okay, like you mentioned, um, it's the marking of the end of the holy month of Ramadan. And um, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is um, known to have said that um, every people have their feast and this is our, our feast. Um, I think um, Islam is also a way of life and the feast should also be carried out in that very same way. We remember the poor, the underprivileged, um, the deceased, the bereaved, the distressed. How do you remember them? What do you do? Uh, okay, firstly, um, it's a month of it's a month and a day of giving. Uh, we start with various charities, uh, even right up until um, the, the day of Eid. Um, we give out so that we can also f uh, share in the blessings that mm. Almighty Allah has given us um, through giving our food and, and gifts and um, I think uh, Lucia will uh, elaborate we'll a little more bit about more that. about that. Yeah. Um, also we remember the deceased by visiting the cemetery on the day of Eid. Uh, we remember the sick by visiting them as well. Um, we spend time with our family, our friends, our loved ones. So it's a, it's a day of, of peacemaking mm. and forgiveness. Don't don't you do that at other times of the year? We do it through, well, we should try and do it throughout okay. the year, but I think it's, it's a special, auspicious time yes. to emphasize those practices. So you can't make excuses, particularly during Ramadan? Well, you shouldn't. You, you shouldn't. shouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Let's bring Lucia in and just talk about, about the gifts. Uh, Lucy, w why is it significant to give at this time? Uh, well, we've just spent a month of fasting, and when you spend all day being hungry, you realize how lucky we are to know that we're going to get fed at the end of the day. And there are so many poor and needy out there who do not know that they're going to get a full meal. So we do everything we can to remember the poor and needy in a very practical way. There are Muslims all over the country busy uh, running feeding schemes. Islamic Relief is a major charity that's helping them. Madrasas are getting involved, Muslim school children. People give uh, voluntary charity. Mm. And well, how, how is the giving done? I mean, you've got a package with you, so you package the things, you take them to homes. How does the giving get done? Yes, that's, that's right. Um, mm. Well, Islamic Relief supports about 2,000 orphans and vulnerable children. So what we do is we, we literally, we, get, we, we, uh, we have centers where the orphans come to, and so we physically take the food hampers. These are, so these are sweet parcels for the children to really enjoy their day. Yeah. We physically take them to the children so that they can Do you do it day. only during Ramadan, or is it done right through the year? Uh, we give food hampers throughout the year, but we give them special sort of fun things for yeah. it as well yeah just talk a little bit about uh, how you get through the day then anisa during the month of fasting is it a challenge is it something that you get used to uh, i mean is there a spiritual ethos to it definitely there is a spiritual ethos um it's it's the month of ramadan is it's, you know we, we worship our our creator all the time in all the things that we do but i think in the month of ramadan it's even more special because um, it's a time of mercy and, and grace. Um, you know, the fasting is about, it's versus spiritual um, growth and, and your basic physical needs. Mm. And that's what that restraint is about. It's about nurturing the soul and your relationship with your creator um, and setting aside all those basic human needs, all the, the things that interfere, in, uh, you know, our, our daily routines that get in the way of building that relationship with our yeah. creator. Yeah. So it is a huge spiritual upliftment and yes you have good days you have bad days some people will say yes today is a good day some people will say yes Ramadan was good today um, this month uh, this year and some people will say no it's all it's all but on the whole um, we manage and uh, you know through the grace of the Almighty we get through 30 yep. days of it um, yes we have sleep deprivation and we get tired towards the end but um, that is only a small negative if you out if it, the, the all the positives outweigh 
the Those negative. little negatives. Lucy, you've written a book about uh, converting to Islam. That's right, yeah. yes. Uh, when did you convert to Islam? Oh, it was a long time ago, nearly yeah. 20 years ago now. Why? What inspired you to convert to Islam? Um, I... I, I, loved, uh, I loved the faith, I loved what the faith stood for, that there is one God for all humanity. We may call God Allah, you may call God God, it's the same name, it's simply an Arabic name. One God for everybody, series of prophets all with the same message. To me it was a very universal message and a very good way of life. Yeah. I, I liked being encouraged to pray five times a day, to fast. It's a very uh, direct connection with God, with no intermediaries. Yeah, when, you, when people have read the book, what do you hope they, they will take away from it? Um, I hope they'll uh, smile a little, even laugh. It's meant yeah. to be quite a, a humorous uh, look at being a Muslim with the ups and the downs. Uh, it's meant to deal with a few misperceptions, uh, like for example whether you have to fast or uh, so whether your baby has to wear a scarf or all kinds of questions I've been asked here and there. Yeah. It just deals with a few of the okay. misperceptions. When is have. Eid on Sunday? In, uh, God willing, it will be on Sunday. It might be Monday. It depends on the moon. Okay, so what do we say to you? Uh, Happy Eid. Happy Eid, or Happy you can Eid. say Eid Mubarak. Bless okay. the Eid. All right, and then of course you brought us some food, some uh, uh, biryani here, uh, all of it is halal. Yes, it's all halal. Hey, Anissa. Okay, and then there's the sweet meats as well. Is this cheese or is this sweet meats as well? It's what you call burfi. Burfi? Yeah, it's, it's like a, a sweet. Yeah. Um, some people might look at it as a dessert. Okay. Um, it's a burfi. Okay, we're going to try out the burfi. I don't know bit. what the English equivalent is. <laughs> I don't know if there is an English equivalent. All right, but thank you very much for coming in to talk to us this morning. Anissa Musa is a social worker. Lucy Bushel Matthews is marketing manager at the Islamic Relief Worldwide. Okay, we are going to take the break and then final news bulletin and uh, the weather with Andy. Stay with us.